Hey you guys, welcome back to another video. I'm always doing the most, finish my cup and reload. Let it swing right back, let it swing right back. So the other videos you might want to watch to relate to this one are the creation of the full set and also the painting of the flame. So I'll link them down below for you guys. Also, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell if you haven't already. I would really appreciate that. So I wanted to share with you a new product we have arriving on the website at glitterplanetuk.com and it is our stainless steel palette and mixing spatula. So this is perfect for your gel paints, your hard gel to mix with glitters and I'm so excited to get a lot, a lot of use out of this, especially with our gel polish line launching because... I am going to be forever mixing base and glitter forever. So I'm just showing you how you would use the palette. I'm using the flat oval double-ended brush and I'm just preparing some of my paints that I'm going to be using for this design. And once you've finished using the palette, it is super simple and easy to clean off. You just come in with a wipe or some paper towel or a kitchen roll, wipe it off and then spray it with your sanitizer or acetone or something and just literally give it a cleanse and it's back to its usual self. So I'm starting off with this base and as I said earlier on in the video, you can go and watch me create this set. I'll link it down below or on the screen for you guys. And yeah, let's get straight into this. I am using the Nailmate gel paints which are not available at this moment but will be coming very very soon to you guys. It's something that we are working on but thought I'd let you know just in case you were, I don't know, interested I guess. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and paint on the Powerpuff Girl which I thought was so freaking cute. It was just so sassy and went beautifully with the flames. I was like, yes, I'm going to give it a go. Um, I'm starting off by using the black gel paint or black gel polish, whatever you have available, and the Nailmate Detailer brush. I'm just going ahead and really sketching that out roughly. I do have the image in front of me on my phone which I'm just referring to and from, just making sure that I get all the little details correct. Now of course it's not perfect, I didn't plan on it being perfect, it would be amazing if it was, but I felt like it looked super cute anyway, so yeah. And I guess practice makes perfect and this was my first time actually drawing a Powerpuff Girl on a nail, so that was pretty awesome. I also wanted to let you know on my nails I currently have one of our gel polishes which is a dusty pink and also champagne along with our rose gold glitter so I'm excited as hell for our gel line to launch. So now I have my rough sketch, I've cured that in the lamp for 15 to 30 seconds, it only really needs to be a flash cure so that that product isn't going to move. And now I'm coming in with my gel paint or polish colours and I'm just going ahead and filling out the details, staying within the black lines wherever possible and I will refine those later on um, after I've finished basically colouring in the design. So after each section or each colour I'm using, I do make sure to flash cure it in the light as well, just to make sure that I don't smudge it or make a mistake or do something crazy like that. So after the skin, I, I, I flash cured. After the hair, I will flash cure. So I'll do that after each colour. Let me know as well guys what other designs you'd like to see me hand paint because I really enjoyed doing this. It did take a long time but the end result was super satisfying and I was so hyped up about it. I was literally shook and thought it was freaking bomb. Um, but yeah, I'm just coming in and doing the eyelids with the purple eyeshadow and then I'll cure that in the lamp and then come in with the blue for the vest. When doing small pieces like this, it is about taking your time and just being really careful to kind of stay in the lines as such. Next, I'm coming in with the white gel polish and I'm just filling in the eyes and adding the details there, making sure to cure between each colour layer so that they don't mix and blend together. Mm -hmm. 
If you guys haven't already, please do go ahead and subscribe, give this video a thumbs up and share it as well. Also leave me a comment down below of pink things, anything pink pink pink, and I will possibly feature you in my next video. Next I'm coming in with the black again and I'm just adding the details on the eyes and then I'm going to flip my brush around to the smaller end in a minute I realise that I'm using this side which is a little bit too large to kind of go over these fine lines that I was trying to create so I flipped my brush around and used the smaller side and I'm just using my nail there just to make sure that I don't get any pooling of product on the end of my brush and then I'm working with nice thin um, brush tips like you don't want the product kind of ball at the end of the bristles and then go in to try and paint a nice uh, straight line or a thin fine line it's just not going to work so I'm adding the pink on the bubble gum and a heart on the vest I cured that in the lamp and then I'm top coating with super gloss and this is how she looks I think she looks freaking bomb if you guys enjoyed this as I said give it a thumbs up thank you so much for watching I really really appreciate every single one of you also this quarantine and isolation is crazy but we can make it through and together I don't know we can just support each other and come back stronger than ever Always remember guys that you are bomb.com. Let us fucking don't ever let anyone tell you any different because you've got this and I love you. Bye.